Yeah, pushing people over the edge. You know, it, it makes me think, so... Um, I first heard of this game from... Uh, Stupendium has a song about it. I think there's a line of like, push, push a few people off. No, it was like, push a few mortals off the, you know, off the shelf. Is it push them off the shelf? Shoo a couple mortals off the shelf? Hmm. Um, let's see what the Ahoy, matey. pirates got what for us. What can old Mortimer offer you today? Hey, Mortable. Anal Annals of Transience. <laughs> the Annals of Transience can help keep track of any passing temporalities. It counts days in a month from 1 to 28. Those are all the days. All of them. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Ears of the Beast. A pair of cat ears would look really nice on me and inspire all the felines of the world. Just don't talk or even think about the film adaptation of the musical. <laughs> Well, we are a dog, so let's hey, get, no uh... Ain't the scourge of the seas? Cause ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wernum gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now, they are. <laughs> Huh. So you just like put the cat ears on and it amplifies your hearing? Interesting. Wait, what's that? Hold on. I see... I feel like I see something. What is that? Maybe it's a visual bug? Huh, that's very weird. Oh, it has a baby! Aww! Oh, it's it's bring your it's bring your piglet to work day. Hold on, let me. There we go. How oh, cute. All right. Top of the morning. We just clocked into work, so that means we check Cocker. Meet young Anita, the medic who saved many lives after the recent earthquake. All thanks to the warning from Mountainhead. They exclaimed before scurrying away. Famous forger found dead inside their apartment. Possible mob hit suspected. Ooh. Oh man. Oh, they weren't selling their art to rich people and jilting out of their money. They're selling it to the mob? Ooh. Bold move, Cotton. It did not pan out. Intensive care unit at the local hospital sees an unprecedented spike in survival rate. Hey, paramedic doing good work. Black holes set to end all life? I mean, yeah, a black hole will do that. I, I would not recommend falling into a black hole. Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. You would not believe what I have seen out here. Even within the ruins. Now would you kindly try to help out the survivors of the turmoil of yesterday? An unforeseen logic guides our hand, but a logic nonetheless. All right, we gotta kill three and spare students. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we have to kill half. I see two students already. So we'll put them off to the side. So if we preserve those two, that means we have to kill three out of these. Um, let's see if any of these students, though, are absolute shits and should instead not live. A true student for life, Christy has no intention of stopping their intense learning process. In fact, they might be on the verge of a massive, 
massively important breakthrough with their fourth bachelor's thesis. I mean, I'm not gonna begrudge Christy Kappel. Like, you enjoy learning things, fucking nothing wrong with that. Keep at it. Doing what you love, Christy. If only everyone had that opportunity. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know why track. I don't know why the tracking may be like dab. <laughs> Matthias Ulaine. It has been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. I don't know what you're doing in that first sentence, but they seem kind of cool. Christy's pretty cool, too. Alright, so that means only one more person can live. Well, this is a teacher. That's kind of like a student. Let's check her out. Polly Nigard. My... Nigard? It's gonna bug me until I know how to pronounce that. I believe the company that made this is, like, uh, Estonian, so, like, Eastern European. There's certainly some, some names I, my brain does not parse well. Tali teaches sex education in many different schools, helping adolescents navigate the twists and turns of physical and emotional evolution. They're a fan of ice skating, pottery, and very technical metal music often traveling to concerts and festivals. All right, sounds like a pretty cool teacher. Saori Shimura, project manager. Saori manages a big software development project at Glamazon. Although they have zero idea how, the soft how software development works, their uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future ahead of them. Okay, so, I was on board with not knowing what the fuck's going on with tech, because that's that's how tech be. It's way too complicated. Nobody knows everything. But CEO nepotism? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Ultar McGrath. Alchemist? Huh. So is this is this uh, Scar in his later years, 66 years old? After decades of unsuccessful attempts at turning mercury into gold, Oltar decided to utilize their alchemy talents in healthcare. They carefully mixed together various chlorine and sulfur-containing compounds and selling it as a cure for everything. Bruh. Yep. You fucking kidding me here, mate? Yeah, we're taking his brain. Did you know, by the way, that one gram of uranium has 16 trillion calories? So, if you eat one gram of uranium, you will have enough calories to last you the rest of your life. <laughs> Technically true. <laughs> brain Chu or Brain Brian Chu retired. Brian lived an exciting and joyous life up until retirement. Then everything started going downhill. Life became rough, sad and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone, their pets died. Nothing seems to be going right at all, and yet they keep living. That's Depressing. Oof. Um. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling the, um. Keep Holly. Yeah, I think, I think keeping the teacher is the play here.
Sorry, Brian. That's just... How it be. These... At least two... At least two of the deaths were not... Not hard decisions. Like, uh, those were... Those were no-brainers. Oh my god, the piglet has little... Has little, like, kawaii eyes. Oh my god! That's so adorable. I wonder if... I wonder if they're gonna continue multiplying. Oh no. The cat seems to be in slumber, occasionally emanating a soft, snore-like purr. Ah, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pet the kitty. <coughs> the cat mutters an annoyed meow through their through her snores. Just wanna pet you, cat. Be professional. I'm here for the daily thing. She lifts her head, her stare fierce, making it seem like petting her would be one extremely bad idea. <laughs> uh, mm, mm, uh, seems we have a. Seems this is a. This might be a glottal situation. I don't know. I don't know if the head pats are a good idea here. Uh, alright. Maybe not. Let's get back to business. After a pause, the cat sluggishly sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds, and turns away, seeming pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. What do you think of fate? Meow. <coughs> The cat notes melodiously. She blinks at you, perplexed. Well, what do you think of death? The cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. But what do you think of the common systems of... Cat, tell me. What are your thoughts on the struggle between the worker and the bourgeoisie? Alright. Can I count on your vote? The cat meows. <laughs> I mean, taxing the impoverished, giving cuts and benefits to the already rich. Really, we should abolish all taxes. It's complete idiocy, if you ask me. The cat looks at you quizzically. The whole system only creates a trickle-up system. We're equal to begin with. Eat the rich. That's what I've always said. Without taxes, I could sleep on my pile of money. Yeah, eat the rich. The cat is absently minded absent-mindedly poking the papers on the table with her paw it is clearly not balanced, hence why people always end up with a version of oligarchy. The cat is starting to nod off, and technically that has nodding in it, so it signals agreement. She blinks at you for a place. That was informative. I'll be going now. Okay, cat goes back to sleep. <laughs> I'm glad we had such an enlightening discussion about the nature of taxes with a cat. I don't know why it randomly oinks. Like, it's oinking because of the, like, piggy bank thing, but... Why? Hey! Hey, why are there paw prints on my desk? What the hell, cat? Cosmopolis Media aiming to develop a new sex education show to boost healthcare all across the nation. Hey, good for them. Scandal erupts at university as another thesis found to be full of plagiarized paragraphs and faulty research. Damn it, Kathy. It's fine to it's fine to always be learning stuff, but don't fucking plagiarize, jeez. Alchemists found suffocated in their own lab. Yeah, yeah, that happens when you're messing with chlorine and sulfur compounds. 
Vast advances being made in research of reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special projects. Alright. I feel like this is going to be a special day. So let's switch to a chill tune. Lucky day! Or is it? Ah, the unjustly denigrated. Unlucky number 13. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology, but no, it is but a day, like all the other days. Three humans have to die, field of religion have to die, spare any artists, enjoy your pleasant workday, fate. Um, no, no way, wait a minute, does this mean everyone lives um i can't make any choices can i hold on what what but buttons um uh mm. um can I, can I put this in the desk oh i can i actually probably that, t that does take up a lot of space i should leave that down there these over here. Um, well, shit. I guess we see what happens? This is certainly new. What the fuck, cat? Just because I tried to pet you? The cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with the paw. What the hell, cat? Cat pauses for a moment, then continues brushing herself, indifferent to your acrimony. I know you stole my files, you jerk. Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in an ear-piercing metallic clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Grim, are you there? <coughs> oh, Grim, Grim. Alas, I am disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you will realize the implications for the world and for yourself. Well, it's not my fault. The uh, cat stole my files. You are silent. You have nothing to say. Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Did the cats... Did the cat cut the wire too? Either way, this will be marked down as your second warning. There will not be many more. This is cat... S sab cab cabotage? Gatotage? I can't stay mad at you, cat. You're so goddamn cute. Nah. Real nice cat. Fuck. I'm I'm really starting to think the cat is that um cloud voice, the agent of chaos. Well, at least we can immerse ourselves in some <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, we have some new faces this weekend. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go right to left. Yes. How's phone number fifty? What's your name? The name is Frank Whittle. Whittle. <laughs> Hang on. Don't we have to be numbered? Well, I used to be phone number one four two, but uh, sometimes you just wish you had a more memorable name. <laughs> but I wanted to stand out more. <laughs> you know. You chose the name yourself. Oh yeah. Never even considered it's this possibility. Not as exciting as it seems. Ugh. Explain your intense emanating sadness. Do you know about the butterfly effect? Well, of course. What if, but what if I'm that butterfly? Haphazardly fluttering around and, and then millions of souls perish in anguish. 
Uh, weird way of phrasing things, but sure. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that's... Fair enough. That's the least of my problems. Last week, someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. Oh, that's mean. Wait. Hold on. The stapler thing is more awful than millions in anguish? Yeah, you're not getting it. I was devastated. <laughs> and I still not all of it. Last month, I had to work in the dog department. But I love dogs. Oh, no. He loves dogs. There's a department for everything. Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, yeah, I realize that. And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be like bad chocolate? Dogs can't eat chocolate. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. Okay, that doesn't it sound was too terrifying. bad. They could all pop any second. Yeah, you just start popping balloons. And they did. Slowly. Oh. One by one as I was trying to sleep. Yeah, that I can see how that can be annoying. Uh, I know I've had a, I've had a panic attack because of being gaslit by a malfunctioning um, smoke alarm. Um, I actually ended up going in to get uh, tested for carbon monoxide poisoning because, like, the symptoms were very similar that I was experiencing. Just kind of. Waking up in cold sweats, uh, feeling like I was my memory was fuzzy, uh, was not fun. But good thing it was not carbon monoxide poisoning. It was just a very tricksy, tricksy, malfunctioning fucking smoke detector. Look at my bony fingers. Hey, look at them. The balloons would have popped even quicker. Oh yeah. Yeah, just go around popping all the balloons. It would have been tedious, and it kind of would have been really annoying. I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Lance Thrasher? Uh, hey, hey, yo. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna king shame here. I mean, seems like they've got a bone to pick with you, though. <laughs> Don't worry. That name's not as cool as Frank Whittle. <laughs> oh, thanks. I guess I needed that. But other people, well, they just keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. Damn. Yeah, I guess uh, you know, sometimes it sucks around the, uh, the popular skeleton. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, Lance Thrasher you for you. You know Lance Thrasher. No, no, it can't be. You're in a different office. <laughs> Frankly, I don't understand what's so special about Lance Thrasher. So, I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight oh, over to no. Lance and I told them that I don't oh, mind no. riveting and I don't particularly care about oh, their no. lame jokes. Oh no, that's um, I feel like it did not go over very well. That's not much of a tell-off, but okay. And then what well, happened? Then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand <laughs> on their desk. <laughs> who, who fucking, what fucking cartoon, keep it real, dude, does a handstand on their desk. I don't, I don't know. It sounds like they've got a, uh, a, a ball of energy, and you know what? Good on them. Poo-poo on them if they're the one pulling these pranks, because that's kind of a dick move if someone, this person is obviously very distressed. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Pranks are fine as long as uh, people are okay with them. Lance, 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 Lance. And they put your staple in a jar, Jelly. Other things. How do you think the it's done? The culprit them? keeps writing, Thrasher was here on everything. With a marker. That seems kind of weird. So, problem solver. What do you think? What should I do? Um, hmm. Can't stoop to their level. 
Should you get back at Lance? You seem to be the source of all your problems. Dang, the whole universe seems to be against you. Man. This is hard, because I'm not... Mm, I don't know what advice I would give to someone in this situation. Because, like, you know, you're you're stuck in a toxic office work environment. Um, I would say talk to DR. No, I, I forgot what the HR replate, uh, department's called. I think it's, like, dead, dead relations. Um, get transferred to a different office would probably be the whole thing. Um... I don't feel like, like, don't stoop to their level, you must be the one to balance it out. That's hogwash. No, you, you, uh, hmm. The, the person, person being, um, abused isn't the right word. Eh, it kind of is, but like, the onus is not on them to equalize things. Getting back at them could very easily escalate the problem. Victim blaming is kind of fucking cringe. I feel like the only thing it's kind of like not helpful is just kind of the generic damn. The whole universe seems to be against you, but I, I kind of really don't like. It seems like the least bad response or advice for this person. Right? That's exactly how I feel. But not you. <laughs> You're a great listener. And that helps a bit to know that someone cares and understands. Sometimes, sometimes you just need an ear. Thank you, friend. Now I, uh, I must head back to work. All right, and who's this person? <laughs> Accentuate the morphological field. Uh -oh. Some reclassification of the framing stratum. Oh, this person's going to be pretentious as fuck. I'm here for it. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. Yeah, uh, yeah, the antediluvian oh, complex. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, meta resonance trigger. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Good, good point. The met, the the meta resonance trigger. Ah, uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. That's that's really at the that's at, that's really at the root here. It's you. I've seen you wobble around in the cellar somehow through the floor. <laughs> A little bit of fourth wall breaking. Amazing feet, young spawnling. <laughs> oh, yes, that is I down in the depths. I am the prime curator of the Abysmal Archive. The archive of all existence. Ooh, he's a librarian? Hey yo, can I get a li can I get a library card? I wanna read. All the bits I've managed to catalogue thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? Yeah, I figured as much. More than you are able to conceive. That's that's very true. Ah, uh, yet I see promise in you, Spawnling. So let me tell you uh, a secret. You see, the archive sprouts a mind eons ago, incomprehensible to most. So. The library is a lie? Those were the days. We were so young then, Fate and I. Two strapping Wait. lads. Is Fate spawned from the archive? There was little in the archive initially, but it didn't take long for it to start growing. Expanding. Wait. Are they siblings? Hold on a second. Pay attention. Don't get sidetracked. I can't allow you to mess with the structure of this dialogue. <laughs> we must proceed on topic and in an orderly manner. Now, the archive kept expanding. The archive whispers and murmurs, shifts and sings. It's alive in a if, sense. If your library Conscience. sings, uh, run. It's not supposed to do that. We couldn't foresee this happening. 
the awakening of the Archive, its development into a unique organism. What does it want? Nothing much, as far as we can tell. It just exists, expands, endures. The three E's? Well, at least it's not a 4X game. It's uh, very, very close, but it's missing um, the uh, extermination. So, good on that so far. Uh, let's keep it that way. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking laugh. The way the laugh is in text. <laughs> it wouldn't be wise to stumble into the archive without an escort who understands the territory. Uh, Y'all have a pad coming up, by the way, in case you need to adjust volume. Yes, stick around. I'll see you soon. Space folds becoming labyrinthine. One can get lost. I know. I've misplaced a few interns in this uh, manner. <laughs> misplaced interns? Those poor bastards. Poor sods. Although no one knows what happens to the disappeared, they may not be dead. Well, any more dead than one already is in this office. Okay, but you realize that's worse, right? Like, that's objectively worse. That they are living forever in this ever-growing archive. Cursed to forever wander for a way out, unable to find it, but not being allowed to cease existing. Like, you realize how horrifying that is. I still want to visit it. Visitations are limited to professional archivists only. Okay, uh, how do I get transferred to the archive team place? I mean, your, your place sounds kind of cool. Getting eaten... Not so great, um, but I have read a story about a labyrinth, and I think there's some techniques I'm now aware of that could help me. So, can I bring a ball of twine when I explore the labyrinth? I mean, I, I can understand if, like, food and drink is forbidden. Yeah, you know, of course, it's... You don't you don't want to ruin any text covering all of existence, but surely some string, perhaps a rope of some kind, I could trail. Um, we can't handle and gretel it, you know. The bread bread would not be good, but you know, just leave a leave a trail of string for my way back in. Eh? Eh? Ah, it calls to me, so I must return. I hope you enjoyed our talk. So, if we have Fate, who was at the start of existence, then we have this person who is kind of... So if we have... Um, what is what are, what are the three terms for for a deity? There's omniscience, you know, knowing all, um, which would fit this person because they're they're overseeing the archive, which has all the knowledge of existence. Then there's um, omnipresence, which fate is, because they're they're the ones all over the world. And then there's Omnipotent, and I believe Omnipotent is the ability to act anywhere in the world. Uh, actually, f Fate seems like they're more they're more in the Omnipotent area. Uh, maybe 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 I'm hmm, maybe there's not like a trifecta like the 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 three pillars, the triangle of. Um, a theoretical deity are not split. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. Let's see what the bartender's got. Save the best for last. Why, hello again. The den is always <laughs> to see a returning customer. Yeah, see this this outfit? You know, dress shirt, vest, tie. Golds. Fucking fucking love that kind of outfit. Two weeks down and you're still kicking. Well done. Hell yeah. 
say. Uh, see, I've been thinking, and uh, I was hoping you'd explain it to me, the, the process. Yeah, 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 no problem. How do you make the choices? How do you really decide who Ooh. gets to live and who doesn't? Ooh, this is tough. Equal amount to live and die? That's not true. Compare all the data with the requirements. Gut feeling, whoever looks suspicious. Flipping a coin. Don't really care, I picked whoever. Uh, I feel carefully comparing the data is closest to how we've been how we've been doing this. Your dedication and diligence are noteworthy. Must take you a long time, though. It's worth it to avoid mistakes. Not that long, I'm very good at it. The rules are clear, the files are clear. Match one to the other. Hmm, I think it's worth it. Uh, anything worth doing is worth putting the effort. Yeah, unless mistakes are made somewhere else. Hmm. Very true. Actions can only be as accurate as your input. Never mind me. I simply ain't one to trust a chain when I can see the other end. I agree with you. You got the very good brain inside that skull. Okay, then another question I've been pondering about the process. Unlike me, who is a skull without a body? Hold on. Do I have a brain? Ha Wait, if I have a brain, do I have other soft organs? Where? Hmm. Where's the line drawn? How am I thinking? And speaking. All right, you know what? We'll just do move on. <laughs> think about the people after you've made the decision, or do you forget all about them after it's done? Oh, uh, definitely can't stop thinking I'm about the consequences. Imagining it, it's like there's so much on the line, so much of everything. I wonder if the Reapers get therapy. Oh, that makes me anxious as heck, and I ain't even the one choosing. I didn't remember to check in my uh, benefits package if we get some free therapy. Um, I was really only concerned about the dental, um, considering I'm all bone. Um, the medical is a bit of hit or miss. But perhaps I should see the mental health options offered by employment. Gazing upon the decision tree, how it branches out across infinity. Across space and time. Mm, yes, yes. The decision tree. Make sure you water it. So the fruits of your decisions are ripe. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? What's with Lady Poddington? Bates cat? <laughs> yeah, the fucking... Horrible furball, <laughs> uh, Always stalking around uh, in search of... Good place mystery. reference. <laughs> Yes, yes, the time knife. We've all seen it. Continue. <laughs> she sneaks down here, too. So I feed her a few morsels. Yeah, she's ultra cute! Almost unnaturally so. Suspiciously cute. Hmm. It's nice she keeps fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What else you got in mind? Um, I kind of hear that's voices. So. Well, most of us hear voices a lot of the time. Ah, <laughs> wait, wait, so you've got a mirror that reflects back your own voice? No, 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 no. It's, it's someone else's okay. voice. It's fine to talk to yourself. I'm sure it's rough at the office. Vocalizing's got to help process <laughs> the thoughts and feelings, huh? I feel like a random random bartender, no matter how cool they are, uh, not the... Or maybe it's your conscience trying to kick through the barrier. That's what I was originally thinking. Becoming a Reaper ain't easy, so you haven't fully internalized the struggle? You're not happy with your work, or you sense something's off? What do I know? I'm just a barkeep. So that makes me only half a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Kind of depressing how true that is. Um, I've not been a bartender, but just working in food service and general knowledge of people that have worked uh, bartending. Uh, <laughs> it's 
Someone contacted me using a profile. Oh. What did this mysterious entity want? Why well, I may mean, kill everyone? Do you follow him or what? I'm more of a rebel. I don't follow orders. But you follow fate's orders like a well-behaved drone, right? Um, yeah. Mm. 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 That is a good follow-up. Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office. I just own the den. What else you got in mind? I don't know if the archive is. The prime curator of the archive, you mean? They work down in the cellar, below Mortimer. I haven't met anyone so enamored with structure and organizations before, but I guess it comes with the territory. You two ought to get along fine. In fact, just bond over the equilibrium and standardizations and the like. Maybe you should eventually apply for an archive job instead. Absolutely. I'm kidding. I don't think it works like that. The abysmal archive is a wild land and not easy to enter. What else you got in mind? Remember your bartending years? Yeah, yeah. I remember one time, at one point, I was contemplating doing, working towards maybe bartending, like, you know, far back into bartending, or perhaps pharmacy, but I ended up going, going in a different path. No less, no less exhausting, but ain't, ain't that how all work be, though? <laughs> I'd like a drink. Poison? All right, we got a gin and tariff, tax on the beach, a bloody Gary, corpse retriever, uh, heat death of the universe, iced coffee. All right, we've already had that one. And milk. Hmm... I'm kind of feeling a bloody Gary. Kind of want something a little, little, little bit, a little bit spicy. Can't go wrong with the bloody classic. It'll kickstart your recovery from any slump. Goombas, wave your drink at the archivist. Hell yeah. As the seemingly metallic taste hits you, it hints at the usage of real blood, but in truth, is just tomato juice. The drink has a sharp, peppery undertone. Still, every sip makes you feel secure, as if you've woken from a nightmare to find yourself at home, basking in the warm morning rays of a rising sun. Yeah. Au revoir, little reaper. <laughs> Fucking love the way she says that. Au revoir, little reaper. Au revoir, little reaper. How about you skedaddle out of the Cerberus den today? I heard that oink. What are you doing, piggies? Dawn of the 14th day. You see anyone? Oh, hey, Fitz back. Maybe the cat won't screw us over this time. Ah, I want to go to the archive! I kind of wonder if, as the game progresses, these other floors are going to be visitable. I feel like it would be kind of wasted space if we can never visit all these other sections. All right, so we couldn't make decisions yesterday. What does Cocker have for us? Fracking linked to earthquakes, new research confirms. Five simple exercises in five seconds. Interviewing. The intrepid crew explores the depths of the ocean. Hmm. What are our instructions? Morning, Grip. I expect you in my office for your performance review after you are done today. Do not worry about that right now, though. Focus on the task at hand. Six deaths. Wow. Anyone related to transportation has to die. 
Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle to die. Left side of the profile bundle? What the fuck does that mean? left side of the profile bundle all right first off i don't know what the fuck that's talking about so let's ignore it <laughs> this sign can't stop me i don't know how to read <laughs> so let's see we have six deaths and four five six nine profiles so it's gonna be a lot faster to pick three who live let's see if we can find our transportations submarines of transportation stop it okay maybe having that down there is a bad idea let's do this So, submarine, that's transportation. Pro gamer, no. Helicopter pilot, yes. Poacher. Amy Morin Podge, poacher. Gifted hunter who recently found a way to make a decent living with this skill. They hunt the elusive mountain cats for their fangs, which are thought to cure a multitude of health problems. They're a poacher, they can fuck off. Bye. Do I have any more piglets? No piglets. Wait, did that? Where'd the piglet go? Ah, okay, it's just it's just laggy. What if I do this? Ah, I guess the piglet just disappears. Okay. Helicopter pilot. Blaze works as the Prime Minister's personal helicopter pilot. They love flying so much. They fly around all day, even when their employer doesn't need to go anywhere. All the money for fuel is taken out of taxpayer funds. Okay. It's cool to have a hobby. This part is bullshit. So, Blaze, fuck off. Submarine Commander, Evelyn DeSpace. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this like a sp Spartan Commander? Is this a Space Navy? Space Submarine? In their youth, Evelyn read the works of Envar Jules, author of many fantastical adventure novels. Inspired by the novel The Teenage Commander, they decided to become one a commander, that is, themselves, and drive thousands of leagues under the sea. And they did. Good for you, Evelyn. Ethel Stone, retired. Ethel has been happily married for nearly 40 years, extramarital affairs notwithstanding. They consider being a grandparent their most important role yet. They try to be cool, but have trouble understanding why some of their grandchildren aren't allowed to eat meat or peanut butter sandwiches. It's called allergies. And veganism. They've existed for a very long time, Ethel. Itoro Aloe? Pro Gamer 19! Itoro started out playing competitive games they loved, believing in themselves when no one else did. It kept getting better. But life kept getting more difficult. Toro had a really good shot at making it until they were involved in an esports doping scandal. Are they calling it doping by like having having like a uh, hacks installed on like the mouse you connect to the to the competitive like 
That's <laughs> G Fuel sponsors online support. <laughs> G Fuel, uh, now with uh, cocaine flavor. <laughs> that was fucking. Oh, wow. Uh, the, that's actually impressive. Yeah, we had to ban them for doping in esports. It was actually uh, impressive they found a way to dope. Kamala Altamont, 36, robotics engineer. All right. Kamala has been introduced into robotics ever since their parents gifted them a mechanical construction set for their seventh birthday. Ooh, the old, um, was it the erector sets? There, there, there was like a Lego series, and then I think there was a non-Lego sort of um, mechanical series. But uh, those things were so cool. I never had any myself, but I played with uh, friends who had them. They used to work at the Space Exploration Agency, designing robot rovers to be sent to other planets. They are an avid fan of violent action films. I mean, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't see the relevance of that last line, but whatever. They seem like a neat bean. Red planet. Is that a movie? I feel like I almost understand what you mean. It's on like the tip of my funnel lobe. Sefa Isadora, chemistry teacher. Sefa is an inspiration to all their students. Although the school is poor, they do everything in their power to make the chemistry classes as engaging as possible, using the available chemicals for demonstrations rather rather creatively. Creatively. Sefa smells of sulfur at all times. So, that seems ominous, smelling of sulfur of all times, but I remember I had a science teacher at a uh, place I was visiting temporarily um, before suddenly moving again, where like in the first day of class, um, let's see, they made a um, soap bubble with like... Cause like there was there was like a gas thing in the in the in the room, so they made like a soap bubble with it, and then they had a lit candle on a meter stick that they poked the bubble with, and just did the whoosh. Um, which let me tell you, for a kid, that's a pretty fucking great uh, science experiment. Um, we went outside, and they had some. I think it was, it was not thermite, Reggie. Definitely not thermite. It was something. It was something that like burned and sparked like that. I can't remember what material. It wasn't. It might have been magnesium. I can't remember if it was safe to look at or not because that's that's really the, the the tipping point there. And then they also had a jar of sulfuric acid, and they put some on a uh, 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 a cow's eye. And they were like, yeah, and uh, come back in the afternoon if you want to see what happens when something's been in sulfuric acid for um, a while. Um, and I would say that's a fucking hell of the way to start the school year in science class. Uh, had 100% of my attention in that class. <laughs> Um, but I feel like the uh, the smelling of sulfur is indicating of something that's not going to be so great. Also, Van Kilmer, Carrie Ann Moss. So the only move the movie that's coming to mind, I don't think is Red Planet. I know it's like something on Mars, and it's a bit of a horror movie. It makes me think like they were being overrun with sort of zombie 
demon things on Mars maybe have been possessing people. This is a very weird movie. I only saw it once. It was so long ago. Um, but, okay. So, Isadora's kind of cool. Um, Kamala's pretty cool. What do we got? Duara Shu, Personal trainer. Duara helps young people get excited about lifting weights and being physically active in general. They also make a lot of easily accessible social media content, teaching proper lifting form to prevent injuries. Durara started a fund to support children's sports festivity facilities. Hey, that's pretty nice. Durara seems like a good bean as well. Rajesh Nakab, oil fracker. Look at this mother fracker. Rajesh is in the fracking industry for the money, and no cries from environmentalists will make them rethink. They are determined to rise on the career ladder and become the boss of the fracking firm someday. Oh man, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my marker slipped. Alright, we have three three deaths. We need to decide on three more. So half of our remaining people. Um I feel like we have a lot of good people to live, so this person can not. Um, yeah, I'm feeling live on these two, absolutely. They seem like good fiends. I'm also, I'm also kind of liking Kamala. I think they're pretty great. So the question now is, do I kill both of these people, or do I fuck up my quota? I feel like if we mark die on Otoro, we are going to see what they doped with. I wonder if it's going to be like, they tried to get performance enhancing Tide Pods. Man, oh, I, just, I just really don't want to kill the submarine commander. Achievement unlocked, benefactor. Hold on, what the fuck is that? Increase a world parameter value two times one day. I don't even know what it means by world value parameter. Now I'm concerned, but we already made our decisions and we're fucking sticking to our guns. Man, it's so smart going against my instructions right before a performance review. I hope I do not regret that. Psst. See? What did I tell you? You told me what? Conspiring behind your back. You saw the result. They I think it was just the cat. To let the guard down, whispering, "Look, it's the pathetic runt." Why do I even come here? Insight, wisdom, and nuggets of cold hard truth. Or is it perspective, encouragement, and guidance? Keep them guessing, and watch your back, Reaper. I really want to know who you are, um, Persephone, Pandora, Eris. Oh, then I'm, I'm like on the edge of needing to sneeze. So I'm like trying to, to like hovering my mouse to mute my microphone, and then it fades away. Performance review time. I have returned. Did you miss me? Thank the gods. I was really getting tired of that cat. Oh, who is adorable? Lady Poddington? Who is? You are. Of course you are. Look at that face. Look at that smug little face. I'm on to you, cat. <laughs> The cat purrs cheerfully in response to fate's petting. You are a delightful scamp. Yes, you are. 
So, okay, yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. Uh -huh. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Okay. Hmm. Where did I place those papers? Please. Where are you? <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> Where did I place those papers, please? I see what you did there. Well played. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Seems to be correct. Interesting. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. There is uh. little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. You mean I don't think on my own? Nothing so grand, but do you really think life is all about following rules? Ooh. Ooh. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Ultimate evaluation? I see. Interesting. It's also interesting how they're really giving mixed messages. Oh, here's the rules. You gotta follow the rules. And they're also like, are you only following the rules? Do you have any personal thoughts? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like my thought that uh, fate is trying to get people more uh, empathetic or in tune with the human side of things for ultimate decisions is, is more accurate. Oh, okay. So the people don't change. Okay. Maybe they change every weekend. Okay. Uh, we have some money. Let's see if we get Back from our booty, are you? A coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Um, fancy suit, bow tie edition. Damn, we can't afford it. All right, we're gonna have to save up more monies. Let's see. Let's go ahead and swap on over to a new outfit. Ooh, we're a cat person. We got it. We got to go with the kawaii one. <laughs> yeah, we got. We got to go with Queen on this. All right. Oh, and even the title was kawaii. I didn't even. I didn't even look at the title. I was just looking at the face because the, the eyes. <laughs> Oh, we got the little face! We got the little face! 